A new study from the UK has found that younger adults are aging faster than ever. To make matters worse, researchers have also found a connection between accelerated aging and early onset of cancers. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us more about the study and what we can do to slow the clock down. Good morning, Dr. Kumar. Good morning. So let's break down this study a little more. What has happened in recent years, do you think, to cause this shift? You know, the study doesn't address this, but what it did find is that people that are born after 1965 risk of accelerated aging. And what that translates to is a higher risk of early onset cancers, about a 4% increased risk of early onset lung cancer, 20% increased risk of GI cancer, and about 35% risk of uterine cancer. The study was conducted in the UK, 150,000 individuals, but again, it didn't address the why. Now, I think we can speculate a little. Life has become a lot more stressful. While technology has made us more efficient, it really does add a lot of stress to our lives, our diet, environmental factors, all of it together is really aging us. What do you think is the difference between chronological age and biological aging? Can that be reversed? Well, chronological aging is how many birthday parties have you had? Really, you know, how old are you? While biological age is really what your uh, cellular age is. You know, what is your general health? How well are you actually aging on the cellular level? And for many people, they don't match up. Now, can you reverse age? Well, the answer is yes, but we're not exactly there yet in medicine. There is a $60 billion anti-aging industry, but that's more superficial. It will give you the appearance of looking younger, but true reverse aging happens on the cellular level. And there is research now for technologies and medications looking at changing the gut microbiome, changing your hormones, and even changing the activation of certain genes to help us anti-age. So, so something that's definitely on the horizon. And doctor, another study also came out recently connecting accelerated aging and pregnancy. Tell us about that. I mean, did we need a study for that? <laughs> you know, like you have kids and then, you know, you worry, but no. Truly, um, the study did come out uh, led by uh, researchers at that found that with pregnancy, you are increasing your biological age about two years with every pregnancy. Now, the good part of that is that there is some regression in the postpartum period. Uh, what this means for long-term mortality and health of women was not addressed in the study, and there needs to be more studies done looking at that. But, you know, we do have an issue with maternal health in our country, and this study just emphasizes how important it is to be healthy before you get pregnancy and really pay attention to the health of uh, young mothers. Uh, the study did also look at men, and uh, men did not have accelerated aging, even though their female uh, partners did during pregnancy. And there's so much out there in the area of anti-aging, but what is actually scientifically backed to work? Okay. Well, get some sleep. Poor sleep ages us biologically in an accelerated manner. So get some good sleep, use sunblock. UV radiation accelerates the aging of the cells in our face. Strength training as exercise. Cardio is important, but strength training is very important because not only do we lose muscle mass as we age, but it, uh, strength training also improves our memory, believe it or not, because it activates the hippocampus, the same part of the brain related to memory. Inflammation is also a big part of aging. How do you want to cut inflammation instantly? Stop smoking, stop drinking, and stop eating the ultra-processed foods. And then finally, mindfulness-based stress reduction techniques meditation, yoga, tai chi. This has actually been shown to work on our epigenome, which means that while we can't change our genes, we can actually activate genes that help us reverse age. And those techniques have been shown to do that. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Kumar. We appreciate it. And remember, you can Thank see you. Dr. Nidhi Kumar's reports every Monday at 7.15 right here on CBS News New York.